Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see different parts of shell and tube heat exchanger according to Tema. Our flagship course is Master Static Equipment Design and PV Elite and Master Welded Storage Tank as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform on scutoid.thinkific.com. We'll talk about the different parts of shell and tube heat exchangers. Okay, what are the different parts? Okay. So no, it's nomenclature part. So if you are no, oh, it's very simple nomenclature. So this is a channel. So we call it left hand side channel because there are two channels. There is right hand side also. So for that, we'll call it right hand side channel. This is your bonnet or cover. So left hand side channel cover. It's integral means it's welded. Okay. So it's addition. So it will be typically welded with the channel. So left hand side integral channel cover. So okay. that is the complete name. The other side, right hand side. Okay. Left hand side flange, which is a channel side flange. So left hand side channel flange. Opposite, it will be right hand side channel flange. In between, it's shell. Okay. Left hand side fixed tube sheet, right hand side fixed tube sheet. Okay. Channel side inlet nozzle, channel side outlet nozzle, shell side inlet nozzle, shell side outlet nozzle. Okay. Then there are some vent connection, there is some drain. So vent will be at the top, drain will be. And even sometimes, you know, vent or drain can be connected with these nozzles. Okay. So this is expansion below, which is provided here. So take care of the thermal expansion. Okay. Now, if it's a YouTube type, then in that case, there won't be a right hand side channel. Okay. So what are the different parts? then we can just call it as channel cover because other side is actually a shell cover. There is no channel at the right hand side because it's YouTube type. Okay. So we can write channel flange, shell flange because there are only one items. Okay. So it's much easier than your fixed. So this is lifting lug, saddle support, instrument connection. So this is a floating type. Okay. Here you have to know about the different parts because that becomes you know, really confusing. So this is shell cover. Okay. Stationary head flange. Then there is shell cover flange. Okay. This is the shell cover. And this is the shell cover flange. Stationary head channel flange. Okay. Because there will be a, a floating side, no, which is the other side. Okay. Now, rear end shell flange, uh, stationary head channel. There is stationary shell flange. This is the flange which is at the stationary end. This is called stationary end. The right hand side is called floating side okay so floating head so this is stationary side this is floating side great so all this terminology floating um, stationary channel flange st uh, stationary shell flange stationary tube sheet okay now if we talk about internals you know impingement plate we'll talk about that there are you know we provide them to uh, if the flow is very high, it may damage our tube bundle. So we provide some impingement plate to take care of the load, which is direct force, which is coming on the tube bundle. So there are tubes. So we are talking about now internal parts. So tie rod and spacer. Why tie rods are provided? And why uh, spacers are provided? Anyone? 
baffle support absolutely right so baffle support also and placing also no? so that they are equally spaced okay this is the pass partition plate stationary tube sheet and the other side is floating tube sheet okay now this is called backing device or split flange okay because this flange is in two parts we'll talk about the detail of this also in the later sections but right now just remember the nomenclature you know here we are just talking about the nomenclature we will be doing all the dimensioning you know what dimension we should have everything we'll talk about in the next sections okay so here it's floating head cover you see here this one and then this is floating head cover flange okay so backing device or backing flange then floating head cover flange and floating head cover these are the three parts which are here the floating head side okay now many times we get confused what is spacer and tie rods okay so we have given one more sketch for you so see uh the baffles are only supported or equally placed by these tie rods and spacers okay on the tie rods we place this baffle and in between there is spacer so once you tie this nut based on the spacer length okay the spacer is nothing but again a pipe or tube you can call which is having id more than the tie rod od okay so that we place at the outside of tie rod and once you tighten the bolt whatever length that spacer is having with that your all the baffles will be tightened so they will not flow so it will reduce the vibration also that is the role of tie rods and spacer okay now impingement plate also we talked about so there can be lots of different configuration for this impingement plate okay one we can directly weld with the help of tie rods we we'll typically don't weld on the tubes so we used if tie rods are outside we can use them and uh, on the spacers we can weld this or we can even weld on the baffles or we can have a nozzle construction like this you know right hand side so the nozzle itself will be uh, provide the space for the impingement plate okay because if you are not doing it if you're not providing in the nozzle then your size of shell becomes large so if the sh shell size is becoming large the tube sheet also will become large so overall cost will increase just because of that impingement plate so rather than if i provide a nozzle like this just one nozzle i have to make it little large so that i can place my impingement plate there there are other types of floating head like this okay so how we call it it's p type okay so packing box sleep on backing device will cover this in very detail the different configuration okay so floating head cover external you know, cover split shear ring okay packing glands which are there on the top of this channel to pack this okay and you know, there are floating tube sheet skirt because this is called floating tube sheet you know? this tube sheet and this is the skirt so it floats on the packing okay for in-depth training and to learn more about these courses register with the link in the description